hello friends so today we going to start with your new topic that is r introduction so uh, we seen n number of statistical concepts so today we going to see how we can practically perform those concept okay so to perform your statistical practicals or to perform your statistic analysis on any software uh, we uh, the one of the software is available that is called r studio okay so uh, basically it is a r programming language okay so r is in programming language and the software environments for statistical analysis graphics presentation and reporting r was created by Ro ross ihack and robert gentleman at the university of auckland new zealand and is currently developed by the r development core team the core team of r uh, is an interrupted computer uh, so the core of the r is an interrupted computer language which allows branching and looping as well as modular programming using function r is freely available under j g and u general public license and pre compiled binary version r provided for various operating system like linux windows and mac features of your r R is a well developed simple and effective programming language which includes conditional loops user defined uh, recursive functions and input output facilities R has effective data handling and storage facility R provided a suite of operating uh, operators for calculation on array list vector and matrix matrices R provides a large co uh, coherent and integrated collection of tools for data analysis. R provides graphical facilities for data analysis and display either directly at the computer uh, or printing at on the papers. Okay, so this is about your introduction of R. So now we're going to see how practically we can perform your R. Okay, so for that you have r software okay so this is your r studio if you need to go to the browser download the r studio uh, software and you you will be able to perform practical on this r studio software okay so this is a uh, interface of your r studio in this the uppermost uh, part of the r tool uh, bar is called as your title bar okay below that you have your menus means your file edit code view plot session build debug profile tool helps these are the menu available in your r studio below that you have some shortcuts keys okay after that you are able to see the four sessions of your uh, main screen okay so the first session means this session over here we're going to type a r program okay in the console part as you are able to see there are again a number of uh, tabs so in the console part you uh, will be able to see the output of your program whatever you're going to type over here the output will appear on this side okay you can perform practical directly on the console because uh, there is no predefined syntax for your R. Okay, then this part uh, is called as an environment history connections. Okay, over here you are able to see the variables and how uh, what are the values of that variables. Okay, now below that you are able to see the uh, another uh, session of your software that is file plot package view help and viewer okay in files you will be able to see your stored file whatever you're going to type over here you're going to save it okay after saving it it will appear on this side okay then plots in plots you are be able to see your graphs in packages if your uh, if your practical needs some more packages to be installed from this side you can install those packages okay if you need any help it will be uh, you can a help from this session okay so this is about the interface of your r studio okay so first we're going to see your first practical okay so uh, what do you mean by r here we don't have any specific syntax okay as i said if you uh, if you type anything on a console it will show you the output on the next line for example if i entered one okay and press enter button 
you will be able to see the output on the next line okay so the output of 1 is 1 okay so if I press 1 plus 2 it will show me as addition of your two numbers that is what 3 right so it is going to show you the output okay now if you want to find the subtraction for example 5 minus 3 what will be the expected output 2 so it will show you the output okay if you are, uh, want to multiply two numbers for example 2 into 2 the expected output is what 4 so you will get your output on the next line okay so you can perform operation directly on the numbers over here or you can store the values into one variable for example now suppose one more uh, arithmetic operation that is your division right so 9 by 3 so the expected outcome is what 3 so you'll get your next output okay this is what you can directly write anything on the console but if you want to perform practical uh, over here okay if you want to write a proper uh, practical and you want to execute this uh, session in the console how you going to do it you can type anything on the screen okay select the part you which you want to run okay click on the run button over here okay once you click on this run button the output will appear on the console okay The output will appear on the next session as you are able to see this is the output of your next line so what do you mean by hash hash mean comments it is not going to get compiled okay so one the output of one is one output of two is two fifty is fifty okay now suppose if i want to print my name okay suppose I, if i want to print any string in the uh, r console I can write that string in double code okay so if you forgot to write a double code you will get an error okay if you forget to write uh, your double code you will get what error for example a b c okay it says what error object a b c not found okay but if you put that a b c in the double code you'll be able to see that same string okay so if you want to enter any string and you want it to print as it is you can put that string in a double code okay so we seen what how to print a number how to print a character or a string okay now what do you mean by variable okay so variable means what it is going to contain some value whereas your one two three four in previous session we seen how to print a number this number one two three four fifty or your uh, string these are what the values okay now if you want to store this value in one uh, very uh, one uh, variable you can do like this okay so your any letter can be considered as what a variable okay and the values will be like your integer values decimal values or the string values okay here we're going to use assignment symbol as what less than equals dash less than dash is what your assignment symbol instead of equals to we're going to write this uh, this symbol okay now suppose i want to store uh, phi in any variable or one in a variable I can write this statement a assignment symbol 1 ok what do you mean by this it is going to store the one value inside the variable now you are able to see that there is no output for this a right it's just only printing what a assignment symbol 1 ok but if you want to see what is in a what is the value of a so you can type a and press enter button it will show you the output the value stored in a ok then there are there are n number of ways you can write your variable name ok over here your variable name was what 1 a right so, and val value is what 1 ok now you can use dot or you can use underscore or you can use number to declare your variable name okay for example 
it can be a combination of your uh, special symbol that is what dot so a dot b it is a valid way to store the very uh, to write a variable name or abc underscore one it is also a valid way to write your variable name dot a in i know one this is also valid way to write your variable name or the only string so your variable name can be a combination of a character your special symbol that is dot and underscore number so you can write the combination but your variable name never start with what integer value okay after that so this how you going to store the values into the variable now we can print the values so we we stored one in a variable so a enter it is showing what one value okay a dot b the next value is what 120 a b c underscore one means what your 500 dot n o one means what we stored five in it okay in name we stored one uh, value that is what sam so it will return you what sam this how you going to store the values into the variable and writing that name on the console you'll show get your output okay now next function so we printed your variable values using only the variable name okay so there are two functions that is your print function and cat function which is going to display the values in one uh, specific variable for example in a we stored what one value right so if i write print in bracket a it will show me the value which is stored in a okay so for example i this is the you able to see that print a after uh, executing your print a command the output is what one okay another is what print a dot b okay so 120 is the value in a dot b okay now cat function is also going to uh, provide us a value which is stored in that variable for example in a underscore b we stored what 500 right okay so after executing this command you'll get your output okay now cat means what it is a concatenation so if you want to concatenate two or more variables you can use this cat function okay whereas your slash n will be uh, used for what new line okay so in cat what we passed first dot no1 okay in dot no1 phi is stored and the next we comma is for your concatenation okay slash n means what it is going to display the next uh, content in a next line new line okay and a so that's why we are getting what phi which is the now which is the value stored in your no1 okay again we come to the new line and it is printing the next value of what next variable so your next variable is what a so it is printing the next value value of a is what one so that's why phi on a new line will get what one okay same way you can write my name is okay so whatever you uh, you're going to write in a double code it is going to print as it is on the console okay and whatever the uh, whatever you're going to write without the double code it will be your r is going to consider that term as what a variable name so it is going to print my name is as it is on the console okay comma name means what the value which is stored in the name variable it will get printed so in name you are able to see that sam is stored right so it will print like my name is sam okay so we'll run execute this command right see the output my name is sam okay now there are uh, another uh, way, uh, functions for example class function which is going to return you the uh, class of the variable okay so we'll execute the first line class a okay in bracket now what is the value stored in a it is one right so the class of n is what a is what numeric so your n value is what numeric so it is going to return you the data type of your value so one is a what numeric type of value 
okay now if you want to write this in a proper way you can write this way also using your cat function so cat the class of variable a is numeric this is the value okay then in name what is stored in name we stored what sam okay now sam is what a character uh, string of what characters so it is returning you what the class type as what character okay now you have another functions for your data entry that is what c and scan okay we're going to see this term in uh, the in the next video okay thank you